All right. So in question five, you have some primes, B and B prime. You have the pre-image and the image. You have your center not known to you. That's what you're trying to figure out. And then you're given a scale factor. So let's just learn a little bit about scale factors. If your scale factor is greater than one, what that means is that B prime will be further away than B because the scale factor of one would place it right on top of this one. And anything bigger than one will push it further out that ray. So if you're on this side and your scale factor is greater than one, then B prime is on the other side. If you're on the other side, then one and a half puts us on this side. So depending on what side you're on, you just know that B prime will be further away than B if you have a scale factor greater than one. If it's less than that value, like uh, 0.8, then notice who's closer. B prime is closer. Or if you're on this side, B prime is still closer. So learn those little clues. Now let's bring in C here. Now in question six, one of the nice things that happens here is they provide you with both B prime and B and C prime and C. If you follow those rays, that's part of your clues to um, where um, the center would be if you follow the rays through C and C prime and B and B prime you will obtain the center so that's one of your major clues as to where your center is and that's probably enough said and that doesn't matter whether the scale factor is greater than one or less than one see how those uh, follow along those rays from O all the way out and so if you kind of were to mentally draw a line that would help you to obtain the center, and then you could kind of estimate, oh, this looks like one and a half, or 1.6, something like that, and you could estimate a scale factor. This should help you out.